about the things that are your friends. This is a new edition of the IoT Friday. And today I'm going to talk about five steps to rapid prototype your next thing connected to the internet. And I'm going to do it with the help of my new riot board from Element 14 from Freescale. So, if you want to connect anything to the internet, you have to take into account some things that are important. The first thing is, what is your thing? What is the goal that you are aiming to, to build your next thing? So, it's, what, why are you doing this thing? And the second is the value that you are proposing. So, what is the added value of your thing? Are you building this for someone or it's for you? So this is something else important to take into account when you build something. The second are the requirements. What are the requirements of the environment of or where are you going to deploy your next thing? So are you going to deploy it in the middle of nature or are you going to deploy it in an event or in your house? So this will affect the reliability of your next thing. So take that into account, the environment. The second is the users. Who are going to use it? Are you building for you? This, this next thing, or are you building to sell it to third-party people or to companies? So this is also something that you have to take into account. Who are the users of your next thing? And do, do you have a special need? Do you need to build buttons or uh, anything special or it, it has to vibrate or move? This is, so take that also very into account because you will need a specific voltage, etc. Um, the interaction. The interaction is also something important. Are you going to um, have only physical interaction with your next thing or you are going to have virtual interaction so maybe you need to build a mobile application or a tablet application. And the design. So do you need a 3D printing um, box to have your, your next thing or it's just a, a board like this in the middle of your home room, of your home? And also another that it's interesting that I, I found in, in some of the projects that I deployed, it's do you need remote programming? So do you need from from your house to actually deploy any version of the of the program that it's working hundreds of kilometers from, from your house, for example? There's something also that you need to take into account if you build anything. The third is the connectivity. So my first question is do you need connectivity? Do you need that the thing needs to be connected to the internet? If yes, we go farther, but if you don't need it, if it's just lights or inter um, physical interactions uh, local in the space where you have your thing, maybe you don't need internet connection. So do you have Wi-Fi in the place that, that you are going to make your next thing? If you're on an event, be careful because Wi-Fi's are not very reliable. So take that into account as well. Or do you want to connect it through a mobile phone? That's also another possibility. Maybe you, through Bluetooth, you can talk to your mobile phone and your mobile phone talk to the internet. And another issue that I found in some of the projects I deployed that they are in the middle of nowhere and there is no connectivity there. So I deployed a sensor in the middle of the ocean. So how do, how do you connect that to the internet? So maybe yeah, you need to think about what kind of antennas and what kind of battery do you need to have uh, the your thing deployed on that space. I mean, do you need a satellite to connect to the internet? Do you need a special bandwidth communication channels? So think also about that. How about the hardware? Depending on, on the thing that you're going to build, what's the CPU needs that you have? So you need a rapid C, uh, CPU with a specific uh, speed, or it's not needed. And memory? Do you need a lot of memory to store data or the data will be stored somewhere else? So you even you don't need to store data. And what is the price? This is also important. If you are going to sell it and you want to make it scalable, maybe you need a, uh, a, reasonable, a reasonable price to sell it, right? Or if you are doing it for your house, it's fine to have a bunch of sensors and you don't care about the price. And finally, for hardware, for me, it's also important. What is the programming language? So. Are you skilled on JavaScript or on C or on what, what are your programming skills? So with that, you also can take a decision if you want to program it. So if you want to program a Linux, you can use something like a write board or Raspberry Pi, etc. If you want to do something more C, you can go to Arduino or other specific um, platforms. Or if you are even want to develop through with JavaScript, you can use uh, now 
new platforms that are using JavaScript as, well, as the programming language as well. And finally, the fifth uh, step for rapid prototyping your next thing is where do you want to store the data? If your thing generates data, you want to store it locally. Maybe you have an SD card connected to your thing and you can store all the data there and then you go one day there and you just store this data in another place. Or maybe you want to store it in the cloud, but it's another solution. There are a lot of new platforms like the Things.io that actually helps you to store this data to the cloud. So take that also into account when you will rapid prototype your next thing. So that's all. See you in the next edition of the IoT Friday. Bye.